Another interesting feature offered by Camelot is the tempo sync. Basically Camelot is capable to send the MIDI clock to any hardware and software instruments. Also Camelot can be slave and get the tempo from uh, any MIDI instrument that is connected and sending the MIDI clock out of course, but also with the Ableton Link protocol. In this example I will use Camelot to control all the devices, so Camelot will be put in the master mode and uh, all the devices will receive the clock as a slave. So to access this uh, functionality you just have to click on the tempo sync button in the main footer that uh, when it's on shows the BPM value. Clicking or tapping on this panel it works like any other layer so it opens a panel with uh, the main settings option and the possibility to apply those settings to the current scene, song or even the entire set list. But uh, let's go step by step. In this case you just have to turn on the send clock button and uh, adjust the tempo to the correct value that you need for your performance. It's possible also to turn on the metronome and the metronome can be assigned to any other audio out. If you want to send the metronome to another output it's possible to select from the metronome channel option the audio output that you need. That is very useful if you want to send the metronome to your in-ear or to your drummer. In this case it's all set. So all the instruments, all the items that uh, are attached to any layer can be controlled by Camelot. So let's press down and see if uh, the Synthmaster plugin here with uh, an ERP sound is affected by that tempo. Let's uh, slow down a bit just using the tap tempo feature, just tapping on this area. Okay, it's working. And now Let's add an hardware instrument. Let's select uh, the montage, for example. Let's find uh, an arpeggiator sound. Maybe, let's see if the one that works. Maybe it could work, we never know. Maybe just uh, turn that down a little bit to hear both Synthmaster and the montage. So be sure on your hardware device that uh, it is set to accept the MIDI clock from an external device. In the case of the montage the MIDI sync option should be set to MIDI and not into internal or uh, other option. And another an important uh, thing to remember is to avoid to send the clock out from a slave device that in some cases could generate some MIDI conflict in the message generated by it and uh, by Camelot. So let's hear the result. <laughs> Another important uh, thing to consider is uh, if you want to use any device as a master device, as I anticipated before. In this case you have to go in the Feed By panel and select the device that you want to use as the main device. But in this case you need to switch also the configuration in your hardware device that you want to use as a master. So in the case of montage you have to go in the utility menu again and switch from MIDI to internal and clock out, turn it on. So in this case I can select the, uh, sorry, the montage, not the Modi X, the montage port 1 as my master device and an important thing to consider in this case is to filter any clock messages that goes into the montage to avoid again a MIDI conflict. So let's go to the filters, filter by clock and maybe by active sense, you never know. Okay, 
Now, the montage is ascending the tempo. Let's switch the tempo on the montage. As you can see, Camelot has changed the tempo according to the movement that I have done on the montage, and Synthmaster should be synced as well. Thank you.